Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. GNOME 42 is due very soon and today we are going to have a look at the release candidate and some of the new features. Now you can try this out in GNOME boxes and I'm going to show you all about it in this video. So let's get going. So here we go guys, today we are going to have a look at the GNOME OS. So GNOME OS is basically a nightly version of the GNOME software. This is useful if you want to test uh, the latest version of GNOME. Right now we have version 42 in release candidate, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to see this in a second. So if you want to try this out uh, to see what's coming in GNOME, and if of course you like the GNOME desktop environment, you can head to the GNOME OS website, to which I will leave a link in the video description below. And you will need to download here the ISO. Now the ISO works as it says here on real hardware, so whether it's a laptop or a desk computer or on flat up boxes. So this is basically the flat up version, the flat pack version better said of GNOME boxes. So if you have GNOME, and if you want to try this out, you need to download the flat pack version of boxes. Or if you are on another desktop environment, you can download the flat pack directly. Now here there is also a link uh, to get the boxes on FlatHub. And here we have also the installation guide, but we're going to do this together anyway. So it's a very simple website here. There is not much to read. It's basically just uh, a website which is going to explore the new features of the upcoming version of GNOME. So once you download the ISO, you can boot up GNOME boxes. I have it already here on my other workspace. And this is already a test version that I was running before. So you would click here on the plus menu. And if you downloaded the ISO, it should be basically detected here in the list. You can see here, mine is already here. So you can click this. And it allocates by default around three gigabytes, three gigabytes of RAM and about 21 gigabytes of this space. This is, these are the recommended specs, so you can let them as they are. But if you want to change, you can customize here as well. And then you can just click create. And you can boot up in full screen. GNOME boxes should detect actually automatically your screen size because it has video drivers already included. So it's going to take a moment the first time here to boot up. And you can see now it's booting up with the logo. And here we have basically the small installer. So you can see here use existing version. Well, that's the one we have. So you can just click next here. And now you're asked to select the disk. So I have only one, of course, in this machine. And I agree to erasing all of my files and apps. This is a new disk anyway. And then click next. And this is basically it. It's going to install the system. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to pause the video here, guys, and I'll be back with you once it's done. So the system is now installed. You can see power off your computer, remove the USB device. This is, of course, if you're installing on Metal. So you can just click power off here. And now we have the second machine, which is this Nightly 2. So we can just boot it up. And I'm going to go full screen again. Again, it should detect automatically the screen resolution. And it's going to take a moment to boot up here. And here we go. We are now asked to go through the setup. So for the language here, I'm going to select English. That's fine. And then click next. And we can select our keyboard. Just select the keyboard you have here. I'm just going to type in the country where I'm right now. And then click next. I'm going to leave this as a default for privacy. And for the time zone here, I'm going to put in here the city where I am right now. And click next. I'm going to skip online accounts for this video and create now my account. So I'm just going to type in my name here. The username is fine and I don't need to set up parental controls. So I'm going to click next, enter my password here and confirm it and then click next again. And now it's done. So start using GNOME OS. So this is very simple. It's a very simple setup here. And now we are in GNOME OS. So I'm not going to take the tour. I'm just going to click no thanks here. And I just want to show you just a few things here which are going to come to GNOME 42. So the first thing, let me open up here the settings. 
and so you can see here already a new kind of a new appearance this is the new appearance settings here in GNOME 42 you can choose between light and dark with corresponding wallpapers and colors so if you want to click dark here you can see it switches the wallpaper and also the color of the whole system so we have also a selection of backgrounds here that you can select from but let's go down here shortly to the about section and check here the version we have so you can see we have version 42 dot rc this is the release candidate because gnome 42 it's going to be released i believe in about one week so we are very close to the release of this new version of gnome now you can see the visual appearance is a little different we have also the corners removed here from the top bar this was actually different in gnome 41 but now it's just a straight line we have also some new visual things here in the settings. You can see, for example, here in the search bar, you can see some new visual tweaks. It looks a little bit more orderly here, a little bit more appeasing to the eyes. Now, another thing that I noticed is, for example, if you click here on the date or on the power menu, you'll see here just pop up windows. We don't have any more these triangles which connect the two boxes, basically. This is also some visual tweaks that they have done here in GNOME 42. Now, another thing which I'd like to show you here is in the file manager, they changed also the icons. So you can see we have a new look here for the icons. It's a bright blue and it looks a little bit more modern to my eyes. Now, if I click the list view here, curiously, this is not appearing. Probably it's not yet final. This is my guess since it's still a release candidate. But if you're switching views here, you will not see the new icons when you're switching here in list view, basically. Now closing this window here and opening up also a new program which is coming in GNOME 42, it's called Console. Now this is not the GNOME terminal, it's a simpler version of the GNOME terminal. So you can see here it looks basically very similar, but it doesn't have the same options. Now if I click here, I don't have actually any option except choosing here the theme. Right now it's dark, you can go to the light theme here if you wish and you can increase the size if you want, but you don't have any other options here. Now I see a slight transparency. So there is a small transparency here on this terminal, but it's not as configurable as the GNOME terminal, which by the way, you will be able still to download in the final version anyway. But nevertheless, this console is going to come here as a default here in GNOME 42. Now there is another new app which I would like to show you, and that is the text editor. So the text editor here, it's new in GNOME 42. It looks a little bit cleaner. You can see here, if I go under text editor here, we have now 42 RC1. This is the release candidate one for this program here. And it's a fairly clean program here. So you can write something like this is the new text editor. And so this is new here. It basically replaces gedit, if I'm not mistaken. You have some options here, for example, for the line numbers, right margin, and so on that you can check. And here you can, for example, also create a new document if you wish, or you can also open an existing one. Now, this is a new app and you will be able to try it out very soon when GNOME 42 will be released. So let's close this up. I'm going to click this card here. So another thing that has been revamped is the screenshot tool. Now we have a new app here called Take a Screenshot. You can see it has a video and a photo icon here. So what this basically does, well, actually, before we do this, let me open up just one window. And again, I'm going to click here the screenshot tool. So what we basically have here, we can screenshot a selection like we have right now. So you can drag and drop here. You can move it around and you can choose here whether you want to take a screenshot or to take a video to screencast basically this section. You can also select the same for the screen, which is going to take the whole screen, of course. And again, you can choose whether you want to screenshot the screen or do a screencast. You also have the option here to show the pointer if you wish. And you can also choose the option for the window. So you can basically screenshot here the window or go to screencast here. But this works basically only on the selection or the screen. So for example, if I go here on screen and I click down record, it's going to record also my mouse here. And you can go up here then and stop the recording. And you can click here to view the video, which is going to pull up the video player and play the video for you. So we can close this up and close this as well. Let me open console again. Just want to show you one thing here. The GNOME OS ISO, it's based on the 5.14 kernel. So uname-r, 
you can see we have the 514.8. It's using actually the Austri image to layer in all the packages. So you can update this basically by going to the software center here and then go to updates. And when there is an update, you're going to be able to update from here. Now, this is a nightly version, so you will have updates basically every single day, probably every single hours, I would add. So if you want to try this out, this is how you can do it. You can install it. You can see it's very simple to install and you can see what's coming up in the new version of GNOME. Now, it looks more polished than the previous version. There are a few visual tweaks and there are, of course, also some bug fixes and some performance improvement in this version of GNOME. But I'm going to do the final review on Metal when GNOME 42 will be released in a few weeks. Now, if you try this out, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any question about the video, let me also know in the comments below and I will try to answer you as soon as I can. So this was the first impression of the GNOME 42 release candidate. I'm going to do a full review when GNOME 42 is going to be released in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any question about the video, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Please make sure to subscribe. This helps me a lot. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.